I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia. Do I just start by saying I'm in Australia? Uh... Hello, everybody. For those who don't know, my name is Paula. Also known as PP, and I'm from Vancouver, BC, and I'm currently in Australia. I kind of feel like I have to give you guys a little bit of an intro just so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and how everything ties together. So about a year ago in 2016, April-ish, mm -mm, yeah, yeah, I was in the computer lab at KPU doing some micro homework. I remember this day so clearly, and I was looking for any reason to get distracted, and I landed upon the Student Exchange website. I was looking around, and I landed upon either Perth or Australia, Melbourne, wait, no, that is both in Australia, Perth or Melbourne to study in, and I literally couldn't decide, people were saying Perth, people were saying Melbourne, and I was like, I don't know, they're both amazing places, because I do want to study in Australia, since I'm going to be here for six months, and the way I chose to come here was I flipped a coin, and now I'm here at Melbourne, and I will be studying at Swinburne University for six months, that being said, um, it was about a year ago when I made that decision. A lot came with it, with paperwork, meetings, um, finding out accommodation, and just the whole package of moving. There's a lot of responsibility that comes along with that and planning as well. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys my place that I'm staying at, and I want to tell you guys about the story. There's always a story. So, obviously, I didn't want to arrive here not knowing anything and then look for a place. I find that's really stressful. So, I took it upon myself to find a place beforehand so when I arrive, I have a home to sleep in for the rest of my stay. So, I was told to do either like um, Airbnb, Gumtree, or Craigslist. And honestly, it was a long, long process just between the three, and I just kept looking and looking and looking. I finally found a place on Craigslist. They turned out to be a scammer. Um, thank God I didn't send any money to them, but just because some red flags were being raised. So you really, really want to be careful because especially when you're finding a place overseas, it's really hard because you don't really know who you're talking to. You don't know who you're sending money to, and these contracts that you could be potentially signing could just bite you in the bum in the future. So that was all very, very scary, and I was doing it all by myself. So I kind of had to learn as I went. So the first one, the first place that I found um, was, I believe, a scam. I just didn't really feel comfortable enough to be sending a deposit over to them. The next place I found was this place. So literally the second person that I got in contact with, we were FaceTiming talking about the place, and I was like, I want this place, this is it, I feel comfortable. Um, just going with my gut feeling and hoping that this guy isn't a scammer just because I met him through FaceTime over the computer. So I was like, yeah, no, this is it, and I'm staying from this time to this time, basically telling him why I'm here and I'm a student and um, just a little bit about myself for him to get to know me a little bit better since I'm going to be staying at his place and vice versa. So he just kept saying, okay, send the money over, and I'm like, well, you know what? I don't have my confirmation for my school yet. Then I can apply for my visa. Once that, ex is a, a, once that is accepted, I can then purchase my ticket. I can't work backwards. I can't obviously pay for my place and buy a ticket and then nothing works out, right? So I was stressed a little bit because I was scared he was going to give the place to someone else. And along the way, I just kept saying, please be patient with me, following up like once a week or every couple of days, I'm like, I'm still interested, I'm still waiting for confirmation of enrollment, and then I was like, okay, I got it, and I was now I need my visa, and I just kept him in the loop. So since November, I kept him in the loop, December, I kept him in the loop, January, I kept him in the loop, and then February came along, and I uh, actually got to meet him. So everything went so well, and I'm very, very, very grateful for him being so patient with me, um, so what happened was I flew to LA, which was a horrible experience. Maybe I'll tell you one day. All my friends are asking me to do a video about what happened. Maybe I'll tell you, um, when I'm ready. But, so I went to LA for a week. It was an awful experience. And the only good thing about it was honestly meeting my landlord, the guy who owns this place. So what happened, I don't even know where to like, where to like, how to do this. So... I got to. I had the opportunity to meet my landlord in LA because that's where he actually lives. 
So I knew he lived in LA and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to LA this time. He's like, no way, well, I'm gonna be there. And I was like, sweet, okay, well, how about we meet up and then I just pay you in cash. That's why we don't have, that way we don't have to worry about wire transfers or any type of over the internet payment. Um, and then he's like, yeah, that'd be great. So I had such an amazing, fun opportunity time meeting him at a local cafe. And I got to meet his lovely girl girlfriend as well. Uh, it was such a fun time. He's so sweet and um, got to tell me some of like the things to do here and some cool perks and hidden treasures in the city and in the suburbs and stuff to do. And overall, that was a good time and that was amazing. And I knew he was an actor, so that ties into roll back. Wait, not roll back. Ro I literally can't talk today. Roll back. I think it was early January or maybe mid-January. My friend Holly's like, Paul, you gotta watch this show. It's called The OA. Um, wait, I should probably include that I knew he was an actor from the beginning, but I didn't really question it. He's just like, oh, I'm in LA, I do some acting, and then like that was it. He didn't mention anything to do with filming ever again. So I was like, oh okay, and just kinda like um in the ear in one side of the ear and out the other and didn't really like process it because I was like Okay, cool. Um, anyway, so mid-January, my friend Holly was like, you gotta watch the show The OA, and it's amazing. No, not The, yeah, The OA. It's amazing, it's on Netflix, blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, oh, like, I don't really watch TV, like, I don't have time for it, but like, okay, cool, take into consideration. Little did I know that following week on the Friday, I got really, really sick, and I was bedbound for the entire day, and I was like, I'm gonna watch Netflix. So, <laughs> such a hypocrite. So I opened up my computer, I went to Netflix, and I started watching the OA, and I don't know if it was the first or second episode, and I'm just watching it and watching it, and I'm like... And I clue in on this one character, and I'm just like... What? And I keep watching it, and then he starts speaking Russian, and I was like, no. So I pause it, I like quickly Google him, and I go to my Facebook, um, to check his profile because we're friends on Facebook, and I was like, no, what, Nico? I'm like, what? This is awesome. So I was like, this is so cool. Like, there he is, and like, I didn't really like process it, click in, fangirl. I was like, ah, oh, that's so cool. That's really, really cool. So I called Holly. She didn't answer. I texted her. I was like, call me immediately. Blah blah blah. She called me, and I was literally like yelling. <sighs> Can't talk. Yelling at her. I was like, I see him, I see him, there he is, my landlord in the OA. And then she's like, no way, that's so awesome. Um, so that was really, really cool. I had no idea that he, he was, I don't want to say that big, but like, it's really cool that I'm kind of like staying in his place. And on top of that, I got to meet him and it was really, really sweet. And then on my way to meeting him in LA at the cafe, I was FaceTiming Holly and I was like, do you want to see him? She's like, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just stay on FaceTime. So I like walk up to him with my phone and I was like, this is my friend Holly. She wants to say hi. And Holly's like, hi. It was the cutest thing ever. And I just didn't know that. I just thought that was a really, really cool experience. And I just wanted to share that with you. Let me show you guys around my place. Let me show you around. Let me show you around. Let me show you around. What is wrong with me? I hope you guys enjoyed a little chit chat about where I'm living. I will see you guys later and thanks for watching. Bye!